Welcome to Lifestyle 360, your one stop for fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. My name is Shay Adenoa, your lifestyle connoisseur, and I'll be your host. Today on the show, we'll be taking you through Monday to Friday workwear outfits, how to look good on a budget, Ask Shay, which is a special segment where viewers get to ask me questions and I share from my wealth of knowledge, and Style Dictionary. When we return after the break, I'll be introducing my guest on the show. She'll be telling us about how to look good on a budget. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome to Lifestyle 360. Before we went on the break, I said that I was bringing in someone to talk to you about how to look good on a budget. And she's here with me right now. I have Chioma Haki, a fashion designer, fashion TV presenter, and a DIY queen, a revamp expert. Chioma, welcome. Hi, hi. <laughs> it's so nice to have you on set. It's so good to see you. You look so beautiful. Thank I love you. your dress. Thank you so much. You look great as well. And Thank that you. necklace. Mm -hmm. You guys have been on my necklace. I've been on it too. It's too fine. <laughs> well, I'm not going to give you. <laughs> it's fine. So Chioma, so you're here to talk to us about how to look great on your budget. But okay. before we get into that, I really want the viewers to know how you got into fashion. So really, how did you get into fashion? Okay, uh, I'm going to say some deep things, but I'll just keep it brief and short. And uh, Awesome. Yeah, one thing I just want to say is, uh, mm. Like Pastor always says, growth is not a miracle, but there can be a miracle in growth. Yes. So at every stage in my life, everything I've done, the fashion designing, the um, fashion um, presenting on TV, the DIY, I, I didn't, uh, I would say my growth has always been a miracle because mm. I just tend to just maybe come into a place and they tell me, oh, just do this. For example, being a fashion presenter, I didn't, I didn't study for it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't. So I was working in a particular place and as a, as a core member, and after some time, they just told me, Kichima, you have to do this. You're fashionable. You have a sense of style. You have this. And I was like, OK, I've never done this before. And they're like, you can do it. So I, that was the way I started. So just other people, they have to go to school. I'm so you really just say, got into it by grace. Yes, I'm not trying to say we are going to neglect the fact that you have to yeah. study for these things or you have to practice. I'm just trying to let you know how I got to where I go. Yes. Though I, I, I still try to be better on the job. So then I was in school and uh, I didn't even know what to do. Then I studied accounting and I was sure I didn't want to be an accountant. So but then I was studying it and I was like, oh. I didn't know what to do, so I just did what the Spirit of God told me, and that was what paved the way for me into the fashion industry. Oh, okay. So I got into fashion. I, 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 I discovered, I remember the night the Spirit of God was telling me everything, what to name my brand, what to do, how to start, because then I was learning how to sew, but then I wasn't that strong with sewing. and. Yeah, so uh, he just told me to go ahead, and that was how I started. Wow. And uh, I think, yeah, after a year, I had, uh, I showcased uh, some of my designs on the runway. Okay. After a year, Fashion Finest Africa 2018. Wow. Yeah, so that was how I started then. Uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing, and uh, I became a core member. I, um, I served in a media house, and that was how I started because of the kind of outfits I wear. I, I'm, I'm a very stylish person. I stand more, I'm a style advocate, so I stand more for style than fashion because fashion is all about the glitz and the glam. Stab, yeah. You know, fashion is like the basic things people wear, but style is you. Style is confidence. Style is being yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, style is not only about the clothes you wear. Style can also do with your ambience. Style yeah. can do with decor. How, for example, the fashion that created is set now. The, the idea was a style. So I am more of like a style person. Style is, you get to see, uh, um, for example, a style, a style territory. I'm calling some people in the fashion yeah. industry, a style territory, a swanky jerry. These people, yes, they are in the fashion industry, but they are like style advocates. So you get to see their work. Style is all about, uh, people should be able to look at this thing and say, oh, Chema is the one that did this. People yeah. should be able to look at this and say, uh, 
uh, Swanky did this, or Biola did this. So that's, that's just what style is about. I always tell people style is you. So just be yourself. That's actually so really that's nice. Okay, so I can tell that you have a lot of experience. I'm talking about style. Uh, I mean, not experience in terms of, you know, doing things, okay. but in terms of, like, it's in it, like, it's from inside. Yeah, like I said, it's you. It's you. So it's me. That's, that's yes. actually just amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. So what tips do you have for our viewers on how to look great on a budget? Okay. Uh, okay, so like I said before. Yeah. Style is different from fashion. Now, when you're just all about fashion, you know, you want to focus on the drip. When you see drip, you see people wearing, you know, the most expensive things and the mm -hmm. things in vogue. And, but that's not what style is. Style, like I said, is you. Style is all about, you can get this trouser, you can get this top. But the way a regular person will wear it will not be the way you wear it. You should be able to tweak your outfit. So you, you spoke about, um, like, creating style on a slim budget, mm -hmm. right? So, for example... I'm going to give like five um, fashion basics. I think every, let me talk about ladies. I think every lady should have in their closet. Uh, so uh, five fashion basics, like I said. So we can't overemphasize the importance of having a white shirt in your closet. Like it's very essential. The versatility is amazing. You can wear your white shirt to work. You can, you can wear, wear it a white to, church, to church. Everywhere. You can wear it to the beach. <laughs> you can wear it to the cinema. There's All no you have to do is to switch up look for what you're ways. pairing yes, it with. Yes, look for ways you can tweak your white shirt. You can just take, uh, like, maybe uh, not a rope, like scarf. a scarf and add it here. You can get a belt. You can get a detachable sleeves. You know, there is, there is a whole lot to do with a white shirt. So... With your white shirt, and white shirt is not expensive. You can find it anywhere, you actually. You can find it anywhere. And then if you don't even want to go for the designer ones, they are quality exactly. thrift white shirts. Exactly. So, so uh, also, okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about blazers. A blazer mm. is like a most, def it's like, it's, it's a defined and a stylish piece. With a blazer, you can wear anything. You can wear it on a pants, you can wear it on a dress, you can wear it on a skirt, you can wear it on a <laughs> short, and you can wear a blazer anywhere. And I think one thing I've been noticing with blazers recently is actually people layering it. So you would have like maybe an oversized blazer and wear a skirt on that blazer. Exactly. Or you wear a short and then you now take a belt and you know, you get to hold it. And you find out that you've seen people that wear their, their father's blazers, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so what they do, they just Just fold. roll up yes. the sleeve. Just, it's, it's either they fold, um, they fold it rather or... Or just push it, it back. Up. Yes. And also you can get a blazer that is... You know, stylish. Like now, my blazer is not like the ordinary. <laughs> it's exaggerated. It's like, exactly. So, <laughs> so like I said, number two, a blazer. Number three, a denim. Denim is like a very, very important. Denim piece. is literally here to stay in fashion. You Thank cannot. A hundred years from now, I want to believe people would still be wearing denim. Yes, and <laughs> and you have a denim pants, a denim denim skirt, a denim dress, a a denim jacket. You can have a denim shirt. You know the. And another thing about denim is it's very comfortable. Mm. It doesn't cost a yes. lot. And it's like your, it's your go-to outfit whenever you want to travel. And it's also very durable. Very like, durable, yes. Yeah, so even if you word. have just a few pieces, you can wear it for like a long period of time, as long as you're managing them well. Exactly. So I think that's why people love denim so much, how easy it is to work with. Like, and, and it's you so don't even need to be You don't need to be a fashionista to look great exactly. in denim. Exactly. I think so, that's why people like it. Yeah, so that's number three. So number four, uh, white sneakers. Now, some of you might say, why is it white and why is it not black? <laughs> now, the truth is, white has this ability to, should I use the word accentuate? Or, or yes. upgrade, uplift the look. Thank you. Yeah. So white has this ability to, you know, and white can go with anything. Now, yes. some people say, why is it not black? Yes, black can, a black sneakers can go with anything, but it can also make that outfit look dull. Very true. But now, the, the great thing about about the white sneakers is it can go on prints, mm. it can go on any color. Even if you wear a green top and a brown skirt and you pair the white sneakers, you're sure to kill it. Yeah, that's an outfit. Yes. A look. So <laughs> even if it's Ankara, a white sneakers will go. But if you wear black, it would just, you know, it would just look like Like because oh, of the there. contrast. Like yeah. it would just, it just be like just yeah. there. There'll be nothing catchy about it but when you now wear white sneakers it's like it announces your presence even before you even speak so that's number four okay so um the fifth one i would say before you say the fifth one please 
Hold on, we'll be right back after this break. And then she will give us the tip <laughs> of all these amazing hacks on how to look great on your budget. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back to Lifestyle 360. I still have Chioma Haki here. She has been giving us, dropping gems left, right, and center. And I have learned so much today. So Chioma, you're about to tell us the fifth hack on how yes. to look great on your okay, budget. Okay, so this fifth one. Uh, okay, so the <laughs> fifth one, it's, I would say uh, a pair of straight pants. Okay. Let me just say a pants or a pair of straight pants. Like tailored pants or just any type? Anyone, 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 anyone. Yeah, so a pair of straight pants, uh, straight pants. We can also do a pair, you know I said denim? Yes. Previously. Now the denim can mean a dress or a gown or a jacket, mm. but now a pair of straight. Now, if you're going for denim and you want to go for a denim, you can go for the mom jean, or you can yeah. go for the crazy, mm. but I'm going to also include a pair of straight jean in this straight pants. So it's, it's, it's important. I think it's important. And uh, I said five. Another thing that works for me, I don't know, I, I'm going to say these hats. Mm. I think it's, if you want to achieve a very stylish look, whatever you wear and you pair it with a hat and you pair it stylishly, I think it's going automatically to automatically upgrade your yes, outfit. Yes, upgrade your outfit because there's something I do. Sometimes I won't even maybe dress, dress too much. I love hats so much. <laughs> I wanted to wear hats, but because of this, my hair <laughs> <laughs> it will not stay. So that I did wear the hat. But what I do, hats are very, very essential. Even if, even when I don't make my hair. Now, I'm not saying you should buy hats. So you're not just using anything. your hats to cover your hair. You're no. actually wearing because that's what most people do. Mm -hmm. And then do you mean every type of hat or just like? The wide brimmed ones, or like a face cap, or any hat, a beret. The, the which hat one? I'm, I'm talking about is not beach hats. Okay. The fashionable hats, fedora hats. Ah. And, you know the the wide round, brimmed yes, ones. Yes. yes. So uh, if you have the hats, whatever you wear with it, even if it's a simple look, I just think when someone sees the hat, I'm like, oh, okay. She has it. it. Looks like you put in exactly. a lot more effort than and you actually also, did. And also, please wear your hat well. Please don't wear it side. <laughs> I don't like seeing that when I see people wear the side. It's like, is that, anytime is I there see, swag? Maybe, maybe, maybe during photo shoot sessions, and I'm like, and I see someone tilt their hat like, please keep it well. Keep it well. <laughs> or you bring it front, you know? But uh, I'm also going to add hats to it. So that's like a free one. That's like mine. I, I have lots of hats. So mm. hat is like my... Go to it's your fail proof yes, outfit. Exactly. It's my fail proof outfit. So anytime, any day, I will wear a hat. Except if I have a hair like this that's going to disturb it's me. Disturb so it. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yoma. I mean, I've learned a lot today. Because of this thing you said about hats now, you finish selling markets. I'm going to go and look for where to buy and hats. Also, hats are not expensive. Yeah, I, just, I think a lot of, a lot of just, times people avoid them because they think they're expensive. They are not expensive. Let me give you one, one, one secret. I know how to go to the market very well. I, I know where to buy things well. <laughs> so I can buy my hat for 2000 naira. Now, I'm not talking about the hats that were made by people <laughs> in a very tacky way. I'm talking about hats that have a nice cut and a well-defined shape. You can get a hat for as low as 2000 Let me use 2000 But me, I can price very well. So I can like <laughs> price it to $1,500. So what? <laughs> 2000 is okay. So if you just go to Balogo Market, but you need to be sure because there are some that we are made in a very tacky way. Mm. But you just need to know. Your so it's just really about looking out for the quality. Exactly. Right? And you need to know where to buy from. So it's good. Sometimes you go to the market and you just survey and you just try to see, oh, okay, I can get this from here and I can get that from here. So sometimes I would even buy the hat 2000 and I would say, no, wait, let me know. Don't, don't, let me cast, not don't cast yourself. Let me not spill a lot. <laughs> let me not spill a lot. So but that's just it. So hats are not expensive. Oh, that's so. really nice. And these five fashion basics I, I, I gave there are like 
important. I can go on and on and give 10, but I'm going I to know, stop I here can, I, I'm sure if we allow you, <laughs> you will school us. Five. I can tell. Yes. But there is also a lot. You can also have camisole, but let me not go into it. Don't worry, those. don't worry. Not, not today. <laughs> yeah, another day. <laughs> another day. All right. But like I said, I've learned so much from me, and I believe our viewers at home have learned a lot too. And then if you don't have any of these items in your wardrobe, are you a fashionista at all? Are you a stylista? Well, and check yourself. So get all these things. And like she said, all these things are so accessible. You can literally just walk out of your house and find a roadside store that sells all of these items from blazers to denim. And they are all affordable. Like, they're so affordable, you, you can't even imagine. And then now with thrift shopping, it's made it so easy to like get even more stylish pieces when, at a very, very low rate. When you're thrift shopping, please, you need to be careful. Yeah. You don't go for the last grade of <laughs> Okrika. <laughs> I beg you, so please just try to pick. I really don't do thrift shopping. Mm. shopping. I know we are trying to talk about style on a slim budget, but I really don't do that. But you can do it. You can do it. But even if I don't thrift shop, I still mm -hmm. know where to get my affordable my, yes, pieces. At still. affordable prices, yes. That's so, really nice. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank Chioma. You. Thank you, thank you so much. I had so much fun on set with Chioma. We're not done. We'll return after the break. Choma is going to be taking us through Monday to Friday work wear outfits. This is for yeah, our yeah. working girls. Yeah, yeah. So if you do not know what to wear to work tomorrow, please just stay tuned and we'll be right back after this break. Welcome back, my Lifestyle 360 people. So we have Chioma still in the house, still on set with us. And we're not done with her. All that knowledge she shared is not finished yet. She has a lot to tell. So my beautiful working class girls will be taking you through Monday to Friday workwear outfit inspirations, Kirti Chioma Haki. So Chioma, let's okay. go. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with your workwear shouldn't be boring. Now, I'm not giving tips, uh, I'm not giving work outfits for people that work in bank, because I know people that work in bank, they have to look very, very serious. very regimented, right? Yes, but um, a regular work outfit, it doesn't really have to be regular, but I mean, work outfit just, just for has like to be more flexibility yes, to yes, it. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. So, uh, it's good to, I have this thing about, uh, since it's a Monday, and I, I believe everybody has it, so, since it's a Monday, she look very serious. serious? I think so, everybody does that. I think so too. <laughs> so like these clothes now can be like for a Monday mm. look. Mm -hmm. So um, a Tuesday can be, you can wear a two-piece. Yes, so you can wear a two-piece uh, on a Tuesday. Maybe a two-piece skirt, a two-piece pants. Yes. Yeah. So we can do that for a Tuesday. Mm. Now for a Wednesday, to me, I have this uh, thing I work with like, it drops. I know that my Monday will be so serious. Even when you're posting on, on Instagram, there are some kind of contents you put out mm -hmm. on a Monday. So like, I leave that Monday for you know, for it to be so serious with my To look. inspire you, to yeah. set the pace for but the week. please, whatever <laughs> seriousness you're trying to add to your outfit, it should not be boring. Please, for the fact people go to work, you don't just have to just wear, oh, since it's Monday. Yeah. There are some things you can't catch me doing. You can't just see me wear a top and a trouser and I'm just going like that. <laughs> My signature must be on it. There must be something to the look. To just yes, make you stand say, out. Yes, because that was why I was able to present. Because I always come to work looking. You can never catch me on fresh. <laughs> Any day you catch me on fresh, maybe that day I'm not in the mood. But you can never, never to be caught on fresh. Never. So please, <laughs> Monday, you can do the Monday with all the seriousness and all of those. But even though it's going to be serious, it shouldn't look boring now tuesday you can start tuesday off with a two-piece maybe a two-piece skirt like i said or a two-piece pants now on a wednesday you can wear on a wednesday you can wear a dress a very stylish dress and also there's something i want to add maybe on a thursday you can do you can still do maybe a two-piece but please you should try to wear colors mm. i know there is this thing they say minimal fashion and there is this extra type now the truth is for the fact that you're being minimal 
there is a there is a minimalistic kind of fashion so for the fact that you're being minimal if that is your style being minimal is not my style so you need to just know what works for you and you know go with it so for the fact that you're being minimal doesn't mean you just only have to wear neutral colors i think what really helps out with minimalistic fashion especially for work is accessorizing so you can just have like a, if you're going to go all neutrals like maybe wear like nude or muted tones your bag can be can just stand up be or your shoes. There needs to be something that yes. makes you stand out. Yes. So you shouldn't just blend with the sofa there in is, the office. Yes, there, <laughs> is, there is something I call minimal trashy, mm -hmm. and there is the minimal fashionable. Mm -hmm. So you can still wear a green, you can still wear a yellow blouse and maybe a green pants. And uh, you just take your bag and your heel and, you know, you don't wear too much accessories. There mm -hmm. is... Fashion is a whole lot. The same way style is still a whole lot. But the thing, I, the thing I want you to know is the style is you. So, but for a Friday, people have this thing about Friday, they wear Ankara. Yeah. Yes, you can still do that. Ankara also is like a must have in your closet because Ankara, even if it's an Ankara bag or an Ankara shoe or an Ankara, there's this belt that is a the form peplum. of peplum. Yeah. You can have it. Ankara jewelry, you know, just have something. So, Friday, you can still say you want to look simple on Friday, but what I would just give to you is no matter your, the outfit you want to wear to work, please don't look boring. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't work with that. So that's just it. Your, your work outfit shouldn't be boring. That's just what I stand with. And so. that's actually very right. Like even if you have a dress code, you can actually make, like, even if it's a color code, exactly. you can actually make it interesting, put yeah. your essence into there it. Let people know that. When you're then to ask, ah, what's happening today? Exactly. <laughs> and also, like I said before, people should be able to see something and say, oh, this is Chema. People should be able to see something and say, mm -hmm. oh, this is, this is, uh, this is Bola. This, mm -hmm. you know, this is Amanda. Like I said, it's your signature. Yes. You don't have to break the bank to look stylish. Very true. Do you get? So it's just all about you. So Thank you so it. much. Thank you so much, Chioma. Thank you. I, honestly, I wish we could go on and on and on. Yes, me but too, because there's a whole lot to say. <laughs> but, um, there's so much here. to say, honestly. It's so hard to like fit all the tips and hacks about fashion into just one episode. Sure. But we have learned a lot mm -hmm. today. So what do you have? In fact, let me just start first by thanking you for coming today. I'm sure, I'm sure if anyone had like any questions regarding like how to look good on a budget, I'm pretty sure you have covered everything. I'm sure you have settled it. That I'm, in fact, let's not go too deep. But thank you so much. It was so nice having you on thank set today. You. But before I let you go, do you have any fashion advice for okay. a not so fashionable person? Okay, so what I'm going to say is try, not try, be creative try as much as possible to watch videos like now the show i host is is a show that teaches a whole lot it will, it will show you how to revamp for example i'm going to give some example but i'll do that quickly mm. you should try to be creative now there is this uh purse that my mom once had it was one silver but guess what it faded and it turned to to orange, orange. but my mom, she said, oh, Chema, I don't need this again. Let me throw it. And I was like, mommy, you can, still, you can still do something with it. Now, I always tell people the answer is not always the trash can. So before you throw something away, think about it. Oh, what can I do with this? Can I revamp it? Can I, can I add life to it? Can I add beauty to it? When you're not finished thinking round and you see that, oh, there's nothing you can do about it. You can throw it away. But for me, I would, the answer is not always the trash can. I always look for something to do to it. And how do you get creative? watch creative videos, watch more of DIYs, because that's what I do. Yes, especially when I'm really not maybe in the mood, maybe, yeah. and I'm at home. I just look for something to do and I, you know, tweak it. So, so bottom line is to stand out. To stand out. Dig into your creativity. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Chama, thank you. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> it was so nice having you on set Pleasure today. is mine. All right, guys. You Now you've heard it though. Chama has told us everything everything you need to know about looking great on a budget, Monday through Friday, workwear inspirations, and she even added Jara on top of it, telling you how to look great, no matter what, just be creative, it's mm. that simple. When we return after the break, I'll be taking you through Style Dictionary. Thank you.
Hi everyone, this is a segment of Lifestyle 360 called Ask Shay, where the viewers at home get to ask me a question from fashion to lifestyle, honestly, anything, and I get to share my take on the question. So the first question we have, I'm gonna read it now. Hi Shay, what's the difference between drip, fashion, and style? I heard they're different. Please, can you help clarify? Actually, Chama did say a lot about this today, so I'm just going to keep it brief. The only thing she didn't quite mention was drip. And drip is just what is in vogue, what the, your pairs are wearing. Like if it's a designer, if it's, you know, the style, like whatever your pairs are wearing. So it do, doesn't matter the age, it's just, drip is just what your pairs are wearing. And fashion is what the fashion industry tells us is fashionable. What you see on the runways, what the big designer labels release every fashion season, that's fashion. So. Um, what makes it different from style is that style is personal. So you're wearing the fashion items that the designers have put out, but you've put your personal touch in it. And it's really just that simple. It's not any, it's not too crazy. It's really that simple. So I hope I've been able to answer your question. I can't wait to hear the next question I get to answer. Welcome back. Now we'll be taking you through Style Dictionary. And really, Style Dictionary is just showing you different definitions of fashion and style terminologies so that when you're discussing with your style enthusiasts and friends, you say the right terms. The first thing we'll be looking at today is opaque, non-translucent, or sheer. The next is poncho, an outer garment comprising a single sheet of fabric with an opening for the head and perhaps the arms. Silhouettes, the outline or contour that a garment creates when worn. Two, a very fine mesh like net fabric used in evening wear and bridal gowns. Thank you guys for watching today. I had so much fun with Chioma. First, she told us about how to look great on a budget. Then we went from Monday to Friday workwear outfits, which was so insightful. And then style, dictionary like I had so much fun filming today's episode and I hope I see you next week on Lifestyle 360. Bye!